Varanus Varius, the lace monitor. You're gonna give me a hard time, aren't you? Aren't you? No, he's not. He charges me though. <laughs> well, I missed my opportunity, it was right here. Chuck Fernando Reptiles Tortuga Ranch in the monitor building. And take a little zoom around the monitor building real quick. It, it's, <laughs> it's a work in progress. It's always a work in progress. Okay, and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about my monitors. These are lace monitors, Australian lace monitors. This is my favorite Australian lace monitor. His name is Bumblebee. But I had a mistake with Bumblebee with these in my hand and I'm not gonna do it again because we're gonna talk about that. There's Bumblebee right there, and he's starting to come over just like he did before. So Bumblebee's smart. I just gave Bumblebee fresh water, and guess what? He didn't react at all. He just looked at me, and he said, hi, Dad. He was just, you know, talking to me and stuff, right? Right, Bums? Right, Bumblebee? But look what you did to Daddy. Look how you bit me. Look how you bit my fingers. I don't like that. No, you gave Daddy 15 stitches. Yes, you did. Okay, and we're going to talk about why he gave Daddy 15 stitches. I'm Daddy. And why I'm wiping my head. I'm wiping my head because it's over 90 degrees in this monitor building, the ambient temperature. Okay, so what happened was I came in here giving a tour of, of the facility and I was showing off my lace monitors because I love my lace monitors. I produce baby lace monitors. This is one of my males. This is Sweet Pea, one of my females. She is, these are my enclosures. My enclosures are walk-in enclosures that are six foot by four foot by eight foot tall. I don't know where Sweet Pea is right now. Come here, Sweet Pea. Can you behind? I don't know where she is right now. <laughs> this is a horrible video, right? Are there any dinosaurs in your dino? Okay. Remember that from Jurassic Park? Oh, yeah. When the guy's in the truck and he's like, are there any dinosaurs on a dinosaur? No, not really. I just built these big cages for the hell of it. So there's a boy, there's a girl in here. And then on this side, these are the Aki monitors. I have uh, red Aki monitors. See? Yeah, little kitty kitty. Look, look up here. See him? She's my little girl. She wants something to eat. Yeah, feed me, Daddy. Feed me, Daddy. I will. I promise I will. I just fed her. I just fed her the other day. Yesterday, I think. Okay, here's another female. And this is crazy. This is my Coco Loco boy. This, this, now I expected to get bit from this guy. All right, this is bamboo. I've never gotten bitten by bamboo, but as you can see, cheese, bamboo will tear the shit out of me. From his razor sharp claws to his mouth, he wants to bite me, okay? I, I only wanted the best for bamboo, and I love him, and I'm gonna keep him, and he's a great breeder. You see the babies he produces, they're really good. And he's not aggressive towards any of the females, but he just wants to bite me. Here's one of my female lace monitors. That's Mila. Hey, Mila. Who's your baby girl? Now, when they see this, they think right away food, right? Because these are our food tongues. So this is what happened, and this is why I got bit. We were in the monitor room, and bamboo was acting like bamboo, just like this, right? Okay, so the, the, the person that was here was like, Oh my God, that's crazy. I never thought that, you know, whatever. And I said, oh man, you gotta meet Bumblebee. Bumblebee, Bumblebee is my sweetheart. And I came over here and I showed him Bumblebee. And Bumblebee was just like this. Now here's where I went wrong. There was a few things that I did wrong. And everything's a learning curve, right? And I've been doing this for a long time, 25 years breeding reptiles. Bumblebee was oversensitized because I thawed out the rats for the boas in here because the ambient air temperature is in the 90, low 90s. So because I do that, it falls out the rats faster. It makes sense for me to do that. But then he got to smell the rats all night long. The next day, instead of feeding out in the morning, I went to work for a couple hours, came back. So it was around 12 o'clock before I went and fed the boas. Fed the boas with my tongs. I feed everybody with these tongs, right? So then I come in here and I just have them in my hand. So I open the door and he's making jerk-like movements, like he's not his normal self. Normally he walks right up my leg, I can hold him. He's very friendly, everything. He's making kind of jerky movements. He's acting like he wants to run up me like I'm a tree. And I was, I should have caught on to that. I should have caught on to that and I should have said, and my brain was just about to catch on to that, but he was coming at me, I had the door open. And you can see I used hardware cloth on the door. 
I had the door open and I had these in my hand and this is what I feed them with. And they're very smart. They're very, very smart animals. And he knew I'm gonna feed, he's gonna feed me. So I tried to push him away with these. He bit at the tongues. Again, Chuck, ding, 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 light bulb, close the door, right? Close the door, he ain't acting right. So I go to push him away. He ran up, ran up the door and chomped onto my hand. Now here, as soon as he bit me, that's both sides. I'm getting the stitches taken out tomorrow. So this is 10 days later, 10 days ago, he bit me. When he bit me, it just felt like, boom, pressure. I got a monitor bite, whatever. He bit me, he dropped off, he let go. He didn't shake his head. He didn't do what he could have done. When he bit me, I held my hand. Oh shit, he bit me. Okay, I shut the door. And then blood just start coming, you know, blood just starts coming out. Monitors have, you know, they have a, a bunch of steak knives in their mouth. So I go to, you know, I hold, I hold pressure on it. I go to go into the sink and the downstairs to wash my hands. I let go and blood is just, just pouring out, pouring out, pouring out. Now, um, my girlfriend was with me and she looked, she, she looked at it first. Cause I was like, you know, what's it look like? She looked at it first. And she was like, oh, you need stitches. So I was like, eh, let me just wash it, you know, whatever. I go into the sink, I turn the water on, I hold it under the water and I can feel the skin just fold over. I look down and there's, there's some stuff on my hand. So I was like, no. So we wrapped it up with a towel, we go to the hospital. So I hear and I read that lace monitors are the closest related monitor to the Komodo dragon. Let's go over here and look at this guy again. So, now these guys come from Australia, all right? And the Komodo dragon does not come from Australia, but but somehow they're the close, closest related monitor to the Komodo dragon. So they don't have the same exact bacteria load in their mouth, but I'm sure they have some bacteria load in their mouth, right? So on the way to the hospital, my blood starts to change. It was coming out really runny, really loose. And then it started coming, like, it, it got like pudding. It got like coagulated and it started coming out like pudding, kind of like clumping out. And I'm like, what the hell? So I go to the hospital, I tell them, they take me right back, clean my hand up. I got 15 stitches and that comes out tomorrow. And I had to be two weeks on a strong antibiotic because of uh, the, the bacteria load. And thank God it didn't do any tendon damage because monitors can do tendon damage. Uh, but thank God he didn't. He's my sweetheart. He's my bum boy. I love him. It was totally my fault. It was not his fault. And I just wanted to, you know, show you just you know talk about it and, and see what happens so at the end of this video i have still shot photos i don't even know if i could put these in there i'm gonna put them in there but i have still shot photos of the like the hand the blood the coagulated blood the, the, the pudding looking blood on the way to the hospital um so I'll, I'll put that in there and if you don't want to see that don't look at it it's fine you know it's just you know whatever and at the, at the hospital getting sticks up but here's some shots of some baby lace monitors that i produce from my beautiful adults look at this in here oh can you see all the way in the back there's a little one i don't know if you can zoom you can zoom with this you can see you can zoom me zoom me and then these guys the only thing is you want to zoom out before you put it on me again or my face will look like a balloon float Th these are <laughs> here's one come here just get it in that corner there <laughs> he's, he's on that rock you can zoom in a little. You can get a little closer. Here, I'll, I'll hold it and get closer. Because these guys charge you. There's a little baby lace monitor that I produce. Bells. And I breed the bells phase. I breed bells to bells. And then there's a lace monitor in here. <laughs> oh, up there. There it is. See it? There's a lace monitor up there. Baby lacy. And there's a lace monitor in there. So basically what I do is I'll put the the babies in here. And yeah, I know I need uh, UV and they just came in. So these are four foot deep um, enclosures. The baby, the ba the neonate grow out enclosures are four feet deep, two foot wide. And um, they're three foot high. And I just got these ZoomEd fixtures. I love to use these. These are the T5 zoom ed fixtures okay i'm not in, endorsed in zoom ed i just really like their product and uh i order them from my pet store the the, the manager dominic at pets plus here 
uh, down here in Consumer Square, Maze Landing is just phenomenal. I love the guy. He likes me. We're friends, so he gives me a good deal. Um, and then there's just some other water monitors, like there's a, <laughs> again, where's the monitors, right? Where, where are they at? I don't know. Here's one. Okay. Come here, baby girl. There's a female guru. She's hiding under there. Female, <laughs> this is horrible. Look, we're, we're gonna do a lot more videos and we'll, 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 we'll show the monitors more, but they, they just wanna hide. It's almost eight o'clock at night. The lights are about to go out. There's another guru water monitor there. There's a, there's a Cape Bandit white throat down here. I have a pair of Cape Bandit white throats. She just came off of dirt, so she's got a shed. She's, she's looking a little dingy, but um, yeah, so we have, uh, you know, we have white shirts, we have Ackies. Here, look at these guys. These guys are cool. Well, <laughs> get, get close. See this little guy? <laughs> They're like chow hounds, man. They really want food. I, I can't produce enough pinkies to feed these guys, really. What are you doing? I'm not going to open the door. You're going to want to bite my finger. So, um, yeah, so that's the monitor. And at the end of this, I have a tiny little video of a, a red velvet ant that I think is really cool and I think you're gonna think is really cool and is walking around my property here. Like, they don't hurt me though, but they're so cool. Just black and red velvet ant, beautiful. Has nothing to do with monitors, but what the hell? I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the video because somebody might like it. Okay, thank you, thanks for watching.
Take a look at this little guy. It's called a red, ooh, if I could, what? <laughs> there it is, okay. It's called a red velvet ant. Such a beautiful little animal. Uh, and they live here. And, you know, we share our yard with, I see them a lot. I mean, I see them a lot. There you go. Get a nice close up of that sucker. I hear that their bite is horrendous. Yeah, it's really bad, but it's such a beautiful little animal. Black and red. And no joke. That. And they're just walking around. This one is in my flower bed right out front of my house. So, and he's gone. Okay. Red velvet ant.